the iPhone 8 is less than a month away. Can you, can you believe that? And the leaks are simply pouring in like crazy over the last few days. And there are so many things that I want to cover. So welcome to another episode of my iPhone 8 leaks and rumors series. So in my previous video, I covered an iPhone 8 clone. So a working clone actually coming straight from China. And we actually got to see a general idea of how the iPhone 8 would feel in the hand. And also, by the way, Touch ID was not included into, uh, into the back, like we've seen on so many other clones or uh, mock-ups. And then in my iPhone 8 prototype video, that one actually came with that long power button, uh, and I talked about the possibility of Apple including Touch ID into the actual power button. This is something that we've already seen in so many uh, other phones, like Sony phones, and it's definitely very likely to happen. So a lot of updates when it comes to Touch ID on the iPhone 8, face unlock, facial recognition and so many more updates. So yeah, as always, grab some popcorn. Yeah, I think I've overly used that popcorn thing. So grab some, I don't know, just, just some corn, some raw boiled corn and enjoy. Okay, so what's the deal with the fingerprint reader, also known as Touch ID on the iPhone 8? Well, Apple is reducing the bezels on the iPhone 8 by so much that there's literally no place to actually place the home button or the Touch ID onto the front. So at this point, Apple basically has four options when it comes to Touch ID. So option number one would be to obviously embed it into the display assembly like we've seen on so many Apple patents. We've also seen this on a few working units from Vivo that had a different ultrasonic fingerprint reader embedded into the display assembly. So again, totally possible. The second option would be to simply embed it onto the side, so onto the power button, like we've seen on other smartphones like Sony phones. And then option number three would be to simply have it on the back, like we've seen on a couple of mock-ups, a couple of iPhone 8 clones, and even a few schematics on this. And finally, option number four would be for Apple to remove Touch ID entirely and replace it with something like Face Unlock. So in the end, which one of these options is it going to be on the iPhone 8? Well, unfortunately, we've actually had quite a lot of recent reports saying that Apple won't be including a Touch ID onto the display assembly just because Apple's struggling to produce enough display units. So Apple's actually facing quite a lot of manufacturing issues with integrating, well, actually producing enough displays with the Touch ID integrated into the display assembly for the iPhone 8. So this option, even though this would be the coolest one, it's most likely not going to happen. However, option number two, so Touch ID embedded into the power button is actually pretty likely to happen. So we've had quite a lot of iPhone 8 leaks all showing that long power button. So uh, we've seen that in a couple of schematics, in a couple of case leaks, in a couple of mockups, and yeah, we've seen that long power button pretty much everywhere. So the only actual reasons why Apple might include a longer power button on the, onto the iPhone 8 would be so that one, it has uh, two clickable areas. So if it comes with a longer power button, it might actually have two clickable uh, parts. So that one of them is, for, let's say, for launching the camera, and the other one is the actual power button. But I honestly doubt that this is actually going to be the case. So if this was indeed the case, then Apple would have split the, the buttons into two separate ones, just like we have on the volume toggles. So I don't really think that this is going to happen. And the second reason why Apple might include this longer power button into the iPhone 8 would be that it's actually going to come with Touch ID embedded into the power button, which is most likely going to be the case, actually. But unfortunately, a lot of recent reports seem to actually contradict this. So Mako Takara, which again is one of the most trusted sources when it comes to Apple leaks, they've actually said that one, the, the iPhone 8 would be delayed even longer than expected, up until maybe even December 2017, and they've also said that Touch ID is not going to be included into the power button on the iPhone 8. And apparently that's because all the components for the power button on the iPhone 8 are actually just solid components, so we don't, we don't have any sensors or any gaps or any empty spaces inside the power button, it's just a solid block. Which means that Apple, the reason why Apple decided to make the power button longer is just because they wanted to make it longer. So no actual use to this longer power button, which would be quite weird. Okay, now when it comes to embedding Touch ID onto the back of the iPhone 8, we've actually had quite a lot of reports and quite a lot of leaks on this. So we have seen quite a lot of mock-ups, quite a lot of clones, and even schematics all showing this. However, they also showed a very different iPhone 8 design style on the front than what we were used to. So a design with slightly larger bezels, Touch ID on the back, and yeah, no, no top display notch. Now, probably the main reason why we've seen those two main designs for the iPhone 8 is simply because Apple's just testing different prototypes for the iPhone 8 to see which one 
they like the most and most likely which one they will be able to manufacture the quickest and the most in volume. But Benjamin Gaskin posted a recent photo of what appears to be a Foxconn manufacturing plant, or at least the boxes from Foxconn, or at least labeled Foxconn, full of iPhone 8 models, all of which have that Touch ID onto the back, and all of them seem to have those large bezels. So option number three is also pretty likely to happen when it comes to Touch ID on the iPhone 8, so having it on the back. So what about option number four, Apple removing Touch ID entirely? Well, a few videos ago, I mentioned that Barclays uh, Digitimes Taiwan and also Minchi Kuo from KGI all reported that the iPhone 8 won't actually come with Touch ID anymore at all and instead uh, it would actually rely on face unlock or facial recognition to unlock the phone and also to approve all the Apple payments. And they actually have some pretty interesting updates on this. Pretty, some pretty big updates actually and exciting ones. So in the HomePods firmware release which actually happened only a few days ago there were actually quite a lot of mentions for face detect. Okay, Daniel, but face unlock already exists on the Samsung Galaxy S8. I'm not talking about the iris scanner, I'm talking about the actual face unlock, which can actually be tricked for the photo, so this, this should be pretty bad on the iPhone 8, but no, here, here, hear me out. So what's really interesting here is that BK. So BK comes from the Biometric Kit Framework, which handles actually Touch ID. So what this means, long story short, is that Apple will be using the entire uh, Biometric Kit functionality with facial recognition, which is just crazy. So this means that they will be using it for uh, unlocking the phone, for making Apple Pay payments, and basically anything that you can use Touch ID for. That would be also possible with Face Unlock. Everything, all the functionality just mirrored to Face Unlock. Now, speaking of this Face Unlock, which is now going to replace Touch ID, it's actually going to be called, by the way, Face ID. And I actually mentioned this naming scheme a few videos ago, but now it has been confirmed. So it's official, Face ID will be the new Touch ID. Now the Apple Pay functionality of Face ID is actually being called Pearl. Now obviously using Face ID for Apple Pay would mean that the facial recognition on the iPhone 8 needs to be really, really secure and should work all the time. At least as secure as Touch ID, if not even better, which is really difficult to do when it comes to facial recognition. You can also see the Pearl functionality in Apple's Passbook, currently known as the Wallet app, by the way. Again, this is in the latest HomePod firmware, so the Pearl naming scheme is pretty much confirmed. Now, speaking of security, the Samsung Galaxy S8 also comes with face unlock that's in addition to the iris scanner. Now, face unlock can be easily tricked with a photo or a video of yourself, uh, which I've already mentioned in this video. And the only way for Apple to actually fix this would be to include, uh, to include an infrared transmitter and receiver so that they would be able to measure the distance between the iPhone and an object. So in that case, they would be able to know uh, the difference between a 2D picture, a 2D video, and your actual 3D face. But I have some really good news here. So we have some new details that Apple will indeed include an infrared sensor onto the front-facing camera on the iPhone 8, which would make it crazy secure and perfect for face unlock and it would be able to measure that. So here's all of those details. So if you take a look at the latest HomePod firmware, especially at this biometric kit line here, there's a mention of Pearl here, uh, which I've said before that this is going to be for Apple Pay, the implementation of Face ID, but you can also see the infrared capture stream here. And the leaked iPhone 8 front display panel published by Makotakara gives us a couple of more details on the sensors that we are expecting to see on the front of the iPhone 8. So an infrared sensor, a transmitter on the top, among with an infrared receiver beneath it, uh, both of which I'm guessing are implemented into, into the speaker grill, and then not one, but actually two iris sensors. And if all this is indeed legit, which I think it is because Mako Takara has always been a pretty trusted source when it comes to Apple leaks, well, this means that the iPhone 8 is going to come with a ton of sensors on the front, front-facing camera, IR uh, transmitter, IR receiver, two iris scanners, which is just crazy. This is going to make face unlock on the iPhone 8 or face ID incredibly secure and should work really, really well and pretty much all the time. Now, I do see Apple using two front-facing cameras and one iris sensor rather than two iris sensors and one front-facing camera on the iPhone 8 because that would make it a lot easier to detect the actual death. But yeah, in the end, Face ID might be even more secure than Touch ID. Okay, so so far everything seems amazing when it comes to uh, Face ID on the iPhone 8. So what happens if, let's say, the iPhone is resting flat on the table and you want to unlock it? You would obviously have to lift it and then wait for it to scan your face, so it would be a pretty bad experience. 
But I actually have some good news when it comes to this. Well, a newly discovered line in the HomePod firmware shows just this. Resting Pearl Unlock, which seems to be recognized as an accessibility setting. And this was also reported, by the way, by Bloomberg before. So what this means is that the iPhone 8 would actually be unlockable via face detect, even if it's sitting flat on the table. Now, obviously, the only way that Apple could do this is by having a really, really wide lens onto uh, the front facing camera, or at least a really wide lens when it comes to the iris scanner. So yeah, resting flat on the table should work pretty well. Interesting. So there you go, the worst and also the best feature of the iPhone 8 is the fact that Touch ID is going to be replaced completely by Face ID. So what do you guys think about all this? Is any of you going to actually miss uh, Touch ID if Face ID works really, really well? Let me know in the comments. Now, of course, that Apple might switch the design of the iPhone 8 from this one into this one. So the one with Touch ID on the back and the slightly larger bezels that we've seen and quite a lot of mock-ups uh, and leaked images, we've actually seen this being produced. And if this is the case, then we will, we will also have Touch ID on the back and also Face ID on the front. So what do you guys think about this? Would you actually pick this variant of the iPhone 8 with slightly larger bezels? And touch ID on the back or the first design options with almost no bezels but again no touch ID at all which guys which option would you guys prefer let me know in the comments as well also if you want to see more iPhone 8 related coverage feel free to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to enable notifications by simply tapping on that bell icon so that you're notified whenever I upload a brand new epic video but yeah this was pretty much it for this video feel free to give this video a like if you have enjoyed it to let me know and also let me know if you are epic enough to make it until the end by saying I was epic enough to make it until the end. Hashtag, I don't know, lemon or something. But yeah, thank you for watching until the end. I'm Daniel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Zen of Tech, signing out. Cheers.